Hi, in this video I want to talk about uh, congruence modulo m. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start by defining it, so definition. Uh, so if a and b have the same remainder modulo m. So if they have the same remainder modulo m, we say that a and b are congruent modulo m. And that is written a congruent to B modulo M. Okay, so if A and B have the same remainder modulo M, we say that A and B are congruent modulo M, and we write A is congruent to B modulo M. That's how it's read. Um, a big, big remark here, big important remark regarding this definition. It's very powerful. So A is congruent to B modulo M, if and only if a minus b is a multiple of m, right? That's, that's very convenient for proof writing too. So this is a very big remark and a very useful one. So um, super key. So for example, uh, what does this mean? So this means, uh, this means if, so this is if and only if, um, there exists a k in z such that a minus b is equal to k times m. That's what it means for a minus b to be a multiple of m, right? Um, that there's some integer such that it's a multiple. Uh, and then and that's equivalent to that. By the way, um, this also means, so if and only if, um, in, this, in this particular case, a minus b is a multiple of m means that um, m divides a minus b, right? So, so all of these are actually the same thing, right? So that, that's all very uh, useful and powerful. The most powerful one, though, is this one, right? Because this allows you to, you know, if you know what this means, you know what it means this. It's very intuitive. You can add equations. You can subtract equations. You can manipulate equations. Uh, it's easier to manipulate equations than it is to manipulate this, right? So, um, yeah. So that's, that's why this language is nice, because you can say it and then you know what it means, and it's just, it's just good to work with. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.